Hi, and welcome to this introduction to Metaphysical Fabrications, a free set of 52 snapshots, 30 new samples, and 9 new features that I've released for Reactor's Metaphysical Function. In this series of videos, I'll be showing you the new features, an overview of the sounds, and some of the sound design techniques that went into creating some of these sounds. Quick introduction, my name is Christian Keltson. I've been a professional sound designer for the past 12 years. 10 of those years were spent as a staff sound designer for Rockstar Games, creating sound for many of their games, including Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption. I've also done a lot of sound design work on a variety of Camel Audio's sound releases for Alchemy and more recently for Alchemy in Logic X. So, why Metaphysical Function? Well, it was actually one of the first professional sound design projects I ever worked on, marking the beginning of my career as a sound designer. For my first independent release, I thought it'd be really great to revisit my beginnings as a sound designer and release it for free to the Reactor community. I approached making these sounds from the perspective of pure sound design and letting my creative juices flow. When making these sounds, there wasn't any genre or category of sound in mind, just to make sounds that are fun to listen to and fun to play with. So let's take a look at some of these sounds and some of the samples used to drive the sound design in these snapshots. A lot of the snapshots use samples that I've created over the years using a variety of synthesis techniques, and on their own they sound pretty cool, but they take on a new form in metaphysical function. So let's choose preset number 11, Resonant Ripples, and let's take a listen to the sample on its own. I'm going to double click on the waveform window. We can see via the select parameter that we're using number 79. Click on sample number 79 in the sample map window. And that's what the sample sounds like on its own. If we bring the volume of the sample down, we can hear that it adds a lot to the patch, but still sounds very different. Let's do the same with preset number 7, Soarings. We can see via the select parameter that we're using sample number 100, Let's click on sample 100 in the sample map window, and that's what the sample sounds like on its own. I have the auto pre-listen function enabled in the sample map settings, so we'll hear the sample the moment we click on it. Let's check out preset number 20 now, Rezobliss. All the samples we've heard so far were made using Composer's desktop project. It's now a free program that does a lot of really cool and unique sound transformations. So I definitely recommend checking that out. So let's take a listen to preset number 17, Sleepy Hallows Eve. This sample was made with Microtonic and Permutate, some really great tools from Sonic Charge. Now let's take a listen to preset number 9, Resonant Flame.
This sample was actually made with the original Alchemy. So you can hear that the original samples take on a whole new form in the sound design of these presets. So let's take a listen to preset number 10, Coming Home. This sample was again made with Composer's desktop project. We'll take a listen to preset number 33. This is actually made with a custom reactor patch that I'll be releasing soon, so stay tuned for that one. Let's take a listen to preset number 34, Bumps in the Night. This was made by processing some dialogue with Reactor's Travelizer Ensemble. So those are some of the sounds. In the next video, we'll be checking out the new features in Metaphysical Fabrications. Thanks for joining me. Again, for more details, visit my website, contortdistort.com, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter at contortdistort. Take care.